My name is Steve Greenberg. I'm from San Francisco, California. Um, I'm the writer, director, producer of uh, Sexual Tension, the Super Adventures of Steven Steven. I'm Joe Greenberg. I'm also writer, director, producer of uh, the film. Sexual Tension is a uh, sex action comedy about two vigilante um, partners who are hired to take down a uh, illegal drug named Boosh. Let me let you two in on a little story. One time I broke both my wrists and I couldn't masturbate for three months. God, I was in pain. Finally the day came when the doc took my cast off. I was so excited, I immediately went downtown, bought three issues of Blacktail and a copy of Busty Nurse's Six. I went home and prepared myself to let loose of three months worth of backed up nut butter. We've grown up uh, watching action movies, grown up watching uh, whether comedies or really serious action movies, and there's always cliches and parallels that you can pull between all of them and I, we just started noticing that the partner relationship in buddy cop films are almost homoerotic with how uh, close the guys are. They'd rather be with each other than their wives. I mean like Tango Cash I think is the most homoerotic film I've ever seen and we just kind of put those influences in this film and kind of wanted to examine it a little bit and take it to the extreme. But it was on that fateful day that I let go of a load so large that I went blind for a week. Take that, multiply it by 10,000, and you have boosh. Oh dear God. The difficulties is definitely budget. Um, this was um, my senior thesis uh, project at school and uh, basically um, opened up the credit cards and student loans and we were just, uh, people were so generous in opening the doors from companies up in San Francisco, um, letting us use equipment and resources that when you have those, you know, from budget to um, having, you know, favors from people, you don't always get the schedule and what you need, you know, it's just not gonna happen. So um, it's really like, you know, there's producing and then there's this type of producing, which is even on a different level with absolutely nothing and making nothing something. It's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a pretty big undertaking. Steve, are you alright, buddy? What happened? My head hurts. I don't know. My God, it's pretty goddamn good, though. Yeah. I think they even shaved our testicles. Oh my god. Why would they? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Those bastards. What are we done for? Hey. <laughs> no, we're not. Yeah, we're no, done. We're not. For. Don't start. We're don't you start that crazy talk with me. Don't you start it. Do you, you hear me? Not now! Start. Not ever! You can parody any kind of film or drama out there and making it as, you know putting the characters in a serious situation, make it, uh, you know, adapt it like it's a drama, but put them in a, you know, a crazy world and have crazy uh, dialogue, but make it as serious as possible, and I think that's where the best parodies come uh, out of. I don't know, it was, it, was, it was interesting. A lot of stuff happened last minute. A lot of stuff, uh, a lot of left turns and curveballs were thrown at us, and we just happened to bounce back from all of them and just kept on trucking along and it was uh, it made it new and it made it different. I mean, the final product definitely changes. I mean, anybody that says a movie comes out the same way that you originally thought the movie was going to come out is completely lying to themselves because something always changes, especially with the budget this low. You're always going to get something new out of it and uh, I think that was the best part about making it was these, these surprises that ended up you know, shocking you, that's a whole hell of a lot better than we originally thought. And, you know, little things like that, I think, was the best part of the production. Don't settle on mediocre. Like, go for 
what you want to do and definitely at this point when you're an independent filmmaker which most of the people here are don't you know think about what's going to sell do what you want to do and what content you want to do and be an artist if it's funny or you know experimental whatever you want to do it's just like you know, go for it. There's and, always uh, someone out there that wants to see your stuff. There's always at least one person that's and that's worth it right there. So. Definitely.